So as we mentioned before, the object drop-down menu gives you one-click access to a whole bunch of things that you can do, and we'll get to these in a little more detail as we go here. But you can also control the order of the objects. So here I have the doll. If I come down here, I'm going to take oh, yeah, a $5 bill, and I'm going to drag that into here. Now, if I notice the $5 bill is in front of the baby, well, if I click this menu now and go to order, because there's more than one now, I can either send it to the back or send it backward. So back goes all the way to the back. So if I had four or five different things here, it would go all, it would send to the back, would send it to the, the first one. If I just send back, it'll go before the previous one. And sometimes you might want more than one object to act like one object. So for example, if I had these two here, if I click on the, the doll here and I click on the five, notice it selects from one to the other. So if I wanted to select more than one, because I have the select tool here, I could just draw, or I could click one, hold down shift and click the other one and they're both selected. Now that they're both selected, I can click the drop down menu here and I can go to group and say group. And now that acts as one big object. I can then, if I want to, I can ungroup them as well. So I'm going to go ahead and group them again. The other thing I can do is I can lock the object. So if I go to lock, I can click allow move, which will enable me to move it, but not resize it, rotate it, or change any of its properties. If I click allow move and rotate, it limits the object less by allowing you to rotate it as well as move it. So if you had like a smart notebook lesson with a puzzle component, you would use allow, move, and rotate to enable you to rotate and move the pieces without accidentally resizing them. So if I click lock, and I'm going to lock it in place. If I wanted to unlock it, I could either just click on it, go up to the thing, uh, the little lock here, and unlock it, or I could also go up to edit and select all locked objects. And then I can do the same thing, click here, and unlock it. And now I'm able to do what I wanted to do again. So I can also make items linkable. So for example, I'm going to ungroup these again and I'm going to get rid of the doll. So I first have to click away to unselect both. Click the doll. I'm just going to come here and delete the doll. And now I have the $5 bill. So if I want to make the $5 bill linkable, what I do is I first select the object and then I click here and I go down to link. That will bring up this. So here is where I put the link to the website. So for example, if I had a wiki page that had talked about the $5 note, I could come up here and copy that. And then I could come in here and paste that link into here. Then I decide how I want the link to be activated. So I can make a little corner icon or I can make it anytime I click the actual object, it will send me to the link. So you won't actually see the link if you make it the object. So I'm going to click the corner icon here just so you can see you'll get this over here. So then when you want to actually visit that link, you click there and it launches it. It's doing it on my other screen there. And there I go. So another thing you could do is you could click again here and click the link. So we went to a web page. You could also do another page in this file. So when we click here, oops, let me uh, go back to my page sorter here and then here and link. So you could have say uh, different paths. So you might have 10 slides if you click this or maybe another 10 slides if you click over here. So you would set up a link over here to make it start or move down to, to skip the first 10 and it would come down there. You can also have a file, so maybe you have a Word document or something that you want to bring up when you click a certain thing, so you want that, that already. Uh, and other attachments that are actually already into the in the notebook file itself. So I'm just gonna click remove link and now I don't have a link at all. 